Okay, so that was the unboxing. I tried all the supplies out and I also took a look at the little zine that is included. It states all the prices, but I did notice that the prices for the microns, they were incorrect, um, like by a large margin. So I corrected that. I'm sorry, my camera is falling. <laughs> so I tried to correct it and just I wanted to see how much I, I made out of this because it's a subscription box. And I thought, well, if it's just some micron pens, then maybe I would have been better off buying it myself instead of getting it in a subscription box. I know that half the fun of a subscription box is getting something that you don't expect, but still I want it to be worth my cash like as an artist or as someone who's trying this. Um, you do want it to be worth your money. So eventually, according to my Micron calculations and their calculations for the paper, the ruler, the eraser and the pencil, it is worth around 27 euros and you pay 24. So that's three euros, but they do calculate like three euros or two euros for this thing, two, two euros for this pencil, which isn't, well, it's not my favorite. And like six euros for the paper that's supposed to include tracing paper and I still haven't found it. I looked at the zine and it said it's supposed to have tracing paper so it can easily trace your drawings onto paper. But I've I felt every paper I've gone through the block a couple of times just seeing if there's anything but I can't find any tracing paper. So what I'm gonna do is try and contact a friend who I know also has this box and ask her if maybe it was included with her and where I should find it if it is included. And then we're gonna make something out of this and see if it was worth it. Um, I have no idea what to make yet. I think I'm gonna make just a value study because we have the light, the mid and the black. So I think we're gonna try that. I'm not gonna paint a whole map like this artist does because it's just not my style i find it really impressive that you have the patience to make that um i don't think i do and then half of it would look okay and the other half of it would like scribbles and i want it to be finished so yeah okay enough for me we're gonna paint <laughs> So let the drawing start. I found this great little place on my terrace. I made it a little bit more comfy and I put on all my comfiest clothes so don't judge me. Especially not my grandma's slippers. I love them. So I made a comfy place for myself, got out all the art supplies and started drawing. I did a value study of a bush on the other side of the water which turned out really cool. It's totally not something that I recognize as my own style but I do really like it. And after that I tried to make some other things in that same style, which failed. You will see in a second that I tried to draw a bird, but it came out looking like a bandit bird, which is fun, but was not my intention. And otherwise I drew some snails and some leaves and I just took the time to quietly draw outside, which was exactly what I needed at this time. Even though I needed some quiet, my neighbor began to cough really loudly and I think watch football. It was really enthusiastic. Um, but yeah, I tried to continue drawing somewhere outside, but when it got too loud, I did move back inside just to have a quiet place to practice this because I, I did have the feeling that I lear was learning a lot from this little tiny, tiny study. 
even though I learned a lot or was learning a lot from this, I decided to leave it at just the one page, which you will see in the end. It's just not my medium, let's call it that, but it was fun to try. So yeah, let me know what you think and if this art box would have been right up your alley or if you would have been a tiny, tiny bit disappointed, just like me. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you again for the next video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. <laughs> Goodbye.